Welcome to 70 times 7, the platform where the dynamics of forgiveness is explored. On the stage with me, I have Pastor Busi Bartholomew Kumalo. Busi, welcome again. Thank you for having me. I have Dr. June Negri. Thank you, June, for being with us. Thank you for having me. I want to share with you uh, something that I read this morning mm. to kick us into our discussion. A young boy was thrilled when his father gave him the honor of saying grace before the family meal. And while the family sat together at the table, he tried his best to emulate the prayers he had heard from his parents' voice. Like, thank you for the meal that you have prepared for us. Thank you, God, for the blessings we have, and so on. But he didn't get the words quite right. So he remembers his mother praying once, thank you for the meal you have prepared for us. And when he was praying, he wanted to, to repeat what his mother said. And he said, God, thank you for the meal you have repaired for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some meals need to be repaired. <laughs> <laughs> you know, while we're talking about <laughs> meals, yeah. I remember reading one uh, about one married couple. The husband says, uh, in a conversation talking about wives, mm. the husband says, my wife, my wife treats me like a pagan god. Mm. He said, and other husbands were jealous. Mm. And they said, why, what does she do? And he said, you know, every time my wife serves me, she brings a burnt offering to me. <laughs> 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 but you know, when I, when I recall this prayer of this little boy, mm. something else, you know, s er erupts inside me. It's true that he may have made a mistake in choosing the words of his prayer, but his mistake is a classic example of what forgiveness does. Yeah. Mm. Isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. because, when we because of hurts and offenses, there is a break and there's brokenness in relationships mm -hmm. and the rest of it. Mm -hmm. But through God's grace, and when we accept his forgiveness, then these relationships are repaired. Yes. As this boy prayed, Lord, thank you for the meal you have repaired for us. Mm -hmm. So maybe those who have experienced the forgiveness of Christ mm -hmm. and enjoy wonderful relationships now, mm -hmm. maybe they would also, if they are true to themselves, will pray, Lord, thank you for repairing our relationships. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what mm -hmm. forgiveness does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though we speak about forgiveness, I've always had one question, June. Mm -hmm. You know by now I have a lot of questions, right? I have one question, mm -hmm. and that is, ever since I became a, a Christian uh, over 20 years ago, mm -hmm. I've heard sermons being preached saying, when you give your heart to Jesus, you'll experience freedom in Christ, freedom in Christ. I've always heard freedom in Christ, freedom in Christ. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to find out for a person to really experience that freedom, there must be certain steps that one would need to take. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'd like us to explore. Mm -hmm. Even if we don't know, we can, we can put our minds together. And what in your mind, Busi, would you say are some of those steps? Or what would be the first step yeah. towards experiencing this freedom? I think before I answer that question, Paul, I came across this wonderful uh, definition of forgiveness in the Greek language. Did you know that the word forgiveness in Greek is aphesis? And it simply means freedom. It simply means liberty. Mm. It's unbelievable. Mm. And therefore, Christ has that liberty. In John 8, 36, the Bible says, if the Son sets you free. You are free. You are free indeed. indeed. So mm. he is the one who needs to set, set us free. So we need to approach him and say, listen, I have this burden. Can you set me free? We're talking about mm. sin. Yes, All right. because forgive, the, the, the unforgiving spirit emanates from sin. The, you, you know, when we experience Christ's forgiveness is one thing, right? Mm -hmm. But I've also read that when we forgive others, that definition is a little, it's tweaked a little bit. Yeah. That definition of fig forgiveness is the refusal to punish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you have done harm to me, when I refuse to punish you for the wrong that you've done. I'm actually forgiving you. Yes. And it's an extension of 
the definition of our relationship between Christ also. Because mm -hmm. he refuses to punish us mm -hmm. if we accept his forgiveness. June? Mm -hmm. You see, uh, when you forgive somebody, it's not just mentally you have forgiven that person. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> you see, it has something to do with repairing of relationship. And it requires time. Mm -hmm. So time uh, is a factor when you try to repair relationship. Mm -hmm. mm. And, and uh, in fact, if you really dig deeper into it, I mean, it is time that makes us close with God. We have to spend time with God. Yeah. We have to spend time with, with our families. Mm -hmm. That's why it says if even love is spelled T-I-M-E. Mm -hmm. mm. Because without time, love is nothing. I yeah. mean, yeah. Uh, how can you say you love the person you don't... Yeah. You, you don't uh, yeah. Be with a person. Yeah, and when yes, Jesus yes. wanted to show us how much he loved us, mm. he came to spend time yes. with mean, us. Just imagine, Jesus said, let there be stars, sun, yeah. Yeah. trees, mm -hmm. flowers, birds. But In six days, everything complete. But why did he spend 30 years on planet Earth? And, and just to mm. go back to the creation week, mm. he never said, let there be humanity mm. or human beings. Mm. He took mm. time to create us. Mm. But when it comes to forgiveness, the Bible says in Isaiah 43, verse 25, I, even I, am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake and remember your sins no more. Mm. It's an amazing verse, isn't it? Very much so. That it is God who blots out, blots out our transgression. Mm. In discussing the outline of forgiveness, mm -hmm. I think our starting point, as you rightly said, Busi, is to acknowledge that the starting point is God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is God who blots, us, blots out our transgression. Mm -hmm. We cannot by sheer willpower yeah. overcome our sin. Yes. We need to be forgiven. Mm -hmm. That forgiveness starts with Christ. Mm -hmm. But then there's a second part. I think you mentioned the verse before in 1 John 1 verse 9. What does it say? 1 John 1 9, if you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive you, not only to do that, but to cleanse you, which means he helps you not to go back. Yeah. In fact, it really, it's, it, it, there's healing effect if you replace the word you by your name. Yeah, yeah. If you confess, if I, June, will confess my sin, sins, yes. Jesus is willing to forgive me. I mean, mm -hmm. you personalize the thing. Yeah, yeah, he may have died for the whole world, which is a fact. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. But let's not forget he died for me. Yes. yes. Busi, you mentioned something very interesting. <coughs> you said that when he forgives you, right, he gives you strength not to do it again. Yes. yes. So actually, if we truly, if I take what you are saying, yeah. if we are truly repentant and have experienced God's grace and his love and forgiveness, something else mm -hmm. takes place in our lifestyle. Yeah. But let's keep it right there. Okay. We'll be right back as we explore what happens when Christ forgives us. Please stay with us. Oh.